while you were talking about how you wanted to be outside of campus, Marcius, <laughs> we do have our third musketeer who's out this morning, but she's over in Royal Oak. Ah, well, at least yeah. she's having some good times out there this morning. <laughs> hey there, Shantae. What's going on over there at the Royal Oak Ice Rink? Hey, and I'm not the only one here this morning, just past six o'clock. We've got some ice skaters out here at the rink at Royal Oak. And of course, this is the spot, the go-to season to ring in the holiday season. But this weekend is a special opportunity to pay it forward to help families around Michigan. And joining me this morning to explain a little bit more about that is John and Mickey. John, good morning. How good are morning, you? And come on in, Mickey. Don't be shy. <laughs> all right. So what's going on this weekend? So we have a toy drive all weekend. We're, we're so excited for the third year in a row. If you bring a, a new toy, value $10 or more, you, you can support cancer patients around Michigan. So many festivities around. Santa will be here today. We have horse and wagon rides. Mm. Uh, you get a free hot chocolate if you bring a toy. And it's our uh, third year. We're working with the Bottomless Toy Chest. They do amazing work around Michigan, and we have a lot of partners that have gathered toys and offices. So all morning, we are going to be trying to light up uh, lives and you know help uh, help those get smiles. That is amazing. I also heard that Santa's going to be here now. Mickey, this is where you come in. You are with the Bottomless Toy Chest. So what are you in need of right now? So with the Bottomless Toy Chest, we see children ages literally newborn through 22. And right now, we have a huge need for infant toys like teethers, rattles, um, sight and sound toys, and also teen items ages 15 and up. We need, uh, you know, kids are big Lions fans right now. So Lions gear, Lions hats, Lions scarves, um, Lions tumblers. Um, college team things, also Legos, um, earbuds, headphones, nail polish, STEM kits, Legos, you know, we can always use Legos for any age. So we appreciate any toy that is brought here today. Um, it will help us touch the life um, of somebody, a child going through something really difficult. Right. Right enough brighten up their lives for this season. I love that. Yeah, and I always say that, you know, cancer does not, uh, sadly, end when the holiday lights mm -hmm. come down. So the Bottomless Toy Chest is there every single week of the year delivering empowering toy experiences to kids who are facing some really difficult health challenges. Right. And we are so appreciative of this toy drive because it's going to help us all year round. Well, thank you for that, Mickey. Okay, so today you can do that. Also tomorrow during the rink hours, today those hours are from 11 to 11. Again, you set a $10 minimum and all types of toys are accepted, but especially for the younger children as well, you guys. Yeah, what a great uh, initiative, what a great outreach there. And I love seeing all those skaters of all skill levels so early in the morning, Shantae. <laughs> are you going to lace up? I know. <laughs> Million dollar question. Right? I will not. I don't know how to ice skate. <laughs> oh, neither must you. Oh, no. yeah. So we all have to oh. learn together now. Oh, okay. I'd be him. That's my spirit animal right there. Come on down. You know what the lesson is? You have to get back up. Yeah, I guess That's so. Get back I could up. never stand on the blades. Thanks, That's oh, right. Well, mm. I could never stop. Mm. I just slammed into the boards every time. Yikes. And I was like, I'm over there. Plus, I was cold. Like no breaks, right? No breaks. Yeah. You're right. That's well, Shantae is live in Royal Oak this morning. Yep. The Bottomless Toy Chest is hosting a toy drive over there this morning. And Shantae, what's going on over there this morning? Hey, happy Saturday. Good morning to you and everyone back at home. What you are watching right now on your screens are figure skaters from, from the Detroit Skating Club. And actually, they're going to be out here a couple of times later today performing as part of something special, as you already mentioned, the bottomless toy chest, because this is a toy drive that is going today, tomorrow here at the rink at Royal Oak. And John, you're joining me this morning. Obviously, a very important cause. It is. We're hoping to get to 1,400 toys, new toys, $10 or more. I think a lot for teens are in need, especially lions gear but we have a ton of festivities as you mentioned skating exhibitions roasting marshmallows Santa's coming Ooh. free horse and wagon rides performances on the library stage with the Royal Oak Children's Choir and many other groups it's going to be a, a day to support uh, those going through some tough times not just during the holidays but year-round of course of course and joining me this morning is Shelly from the Detroit Skating Club and thank you for getting up early and getting the little figure skaters for us we appreciate it how important is it for you to partner with the bottomless toy chest and in, in raising awareness oh we we love being here we have an athletes committee at our rink and they love doing different fundraising activities like this we love bringing toys to the bottomless toy chest um, and we're gonna be doing some performances today like you said we have one of our top skaters Aaron Biederman she just got back from the sectional final in Texas she's here to perform 
Uh, we have Grace here, and she is from the city of Royal Oak, and mm -hmm. so it means a lot for her to be here. And then some of our skaters from our accelerated skating program, they're younger, and they are just kind of getting into skating and, and having fun with it, and they, they love being here at the rink in Royal Oak. Yeah. Oh, they're getting warmed up for later today. <laughs> okay, uh, real quick, uh, performances, what time? Yes, performance times, 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock today. And um, we'll be here having fun. Those skaters will probably skate a little bit after, too. So if you need a, a lesson or two, uh, we're happy to help. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right, Victor, Priya, I'll see you here after the morning show. Yeah, all of us can just learn how to skate together. We can all just hold hands, and we'll be the slowest trio out there. Those little kids can zip around between there us. There we go. Right? That's the plan. That's the plan. And then we'll have some Do hot laps cocoa. around us. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we won't get very far, is my point. We'll maybe be able to. He can't balance on skates. I, I can't, can't stop. It's a winning combo over here, Shantae. Yeah, it should balance out, right? Well, yeah. Victor can skateboard. That doesn't transfer oh, over to the ice. It's totally different. Is I'm it? facing one way versus going straight forward. You got to understand oh, that I'm facing to yeah, the side and moving right. sideways. So how about snowboarding? I tried that. I didn't like it either. <laughs> oh, honestly. we didn't like it. I but, don't think you like the cold. <laughs> I don't like the cold at all. Okay, all right. Shante's still laughing with us. All right, stay. Well, we are talking about the holidays, and Shante is over in Royal Oak this morning, kind of getting in the festive spirit. Yeah. Hey, Shante, what's going on over there? Are you going to lace up those boots or what? <laughs> Far from it, you guys. Good morning to you and everyone back at home. Yes, we are live this morning from the rink at Royal Oak, and we are talking about something very special happening this week. And what you're seeing are people offloading some of the toys that have been collected as part of a toy drive here for Bottomless Toy Chess. And joining me this morning is... Jennifer. Yes, good morning. <laughs> good morning. And who are you with one more time? Cornerstone Community Financial. Oh, my goodness. And these are just some of the toys you guys have collected to help with this toy drive. It is. So, again, Cornerstone and Community is in our middle name, and we are so excited to be here and so excited, again, to partner with the rink in collecting these toys for the Bottomless Toy Chest. How important is it to pay it forward, especially during the holiday season? So important. It, we are part of the community, and it is very important to have the community join with us in collecting this and, and just, you know, how can we give back and make an impact to the community? And you know what's really special this morning is we're actually meeting families who are benefiting from this toy drive from Bottomless Toy Chest. And joining me this morning are the Lynn family, and this is Mark here. And so, Mom, Mark was diagnosed with what last year? Uh, it's ALL. The full name is acute lymphoblastic uh, pneumonia. Pneumonia? Oh, no, sorry. Leukemia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And so that must have been hard as a mom. Of course. How has Mark been kind of navigating through this health challenge right now? Um, last year, he was only in school for two months. Um, and then this year, since September, he has been in school until now. Mm -hmm. He has only been in the hospital one week. So we yeah. already think that's a blessing. <laughs> so Mark actually has a twin, Caleb. Yes. They're both nine. And Mark, how are you feeling this morning? Good. Good. What does it mean to know that the Bottomless Toy Chest is trying to help you and your family? How does that make you feel? Happy. Yeah. Well, you guys, look, I told him he could skate during our segment. So Mark, if you want to go ahead and skate, go at it. <laughs> He said, say less. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so the toy drive is happening today and tomorrow. It's happening during the hours when the rink is open. Today, it's 11 11. Tomorrow, I believe, is 11 to 10. There is going to be performances from the Detroit Skating Club, oh, wow. Hot Coco, Santa, horse carriage rides, all the things, guys. Just a really beautiful moment. So you come out yeah. here, have a good time, but also pay it forward for those who are in like the Lynn family. Right, and I love seeing all the elves hard at work early this morning, sorting through all of those <laughs> donations. All right. Right. It's so great. Thanks, Shante. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun out there. Also, oh, skaters yeah. up early. I know, and great to see the good they're doing. Well, the Bottomless Toy Chest is hosting a toy drive at the rink in Royal Oak this weekend. Yes, that's right. All of the donations will be going to deserving kids who have to spend their holidays in the hospital. Our Shante Passmore is at the rink with how you can make a difference with a donation today. Hey there, Shante. What are we looking at now? The looks kids like look a, busy. Yeah. Victor and Priya, we've got some new Santa's helpers here helping to unload some of the toys that have been collected in recent days to benefit the bottomless toy chest. And what a beautiful opportunity this weekend to show generosity to families who are navigating 
health challenges. And joining me this morning is Michael from M3 Investment, a major sponsor here for the rink at the Royal, at Royal Oak. Rather, Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. The rink is open. We're ready to go. Oh, my gosh. What can families expect as they drop, drop off their toys today? Well, you can expect a free hot chocolate if you bring a toy and drop it off. And you expect a lot of fun. And, and if you're here between the hours of 12 and 4, you're going to get to see Santa Claus. So the expectations can be high because the fun is here. And, you know, this is the holiday season, but it's also important to pay it forward to give. Why is that? Well, you know, uh, for some people, it's a little bit more difficult, right? Mm -hmm. So for those of us that have done well, it's, uh, it's good to share, and it, it, it really feels good. Thank you, Michael. And joining me to my left here is Jenna from Toyology. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you guys have played a big role ever since this toy drive has started. What, what role have we you played? We are so happy to be a part of it. We helped, they bought toys from us, and then Toyology donated some toys as well. And we just feel so glad to be able to um, contribute to this great cause of the Bottomless Toy Chest and love seeing the rink. It's great. It is. You know, there's something about the magic of opening a brand new toy. What do you think it is now, at our big age? Right, no. <laughs> people come in the toy store, they become kids. We're um, in in West Bloomfield and in Bloomfield Hills and the magic of a toy store it brings the kid out in everyone absolutely and you guys this morning I'm gonna try to get through this um, without becoming emotional but we just had a viewer who was watching us earlier and saw what we were doing here and came over and donated some toys and even brought some chocolate and so really I say all that to say this is blessing a lot of families this is helping families feel seen to feel heard to feel loved on and just it's just beautiful to pay it forward and so whatever you can contribute it will mean a lot to a family in need right now so somebody was watching they saw your segment they just came out with some donations and the Ferrer Rocher? They did, okay. they did. Oh, that is so heartwarming. Right. I can hear it in your voice. Oh. Well, we hope more people will donate. Such a worthy cause, and these kids are just incredible. Thank you, Shante, for sharing some of their stories with us. Well, not every family can enjoy the holidays at home. Some may have a child getting treatment in the hospital, making it so much harder to celebrate. That's right. The bottomless toy chest, though, wants to bring them closer to holiday cheer, especially the holiday cheer that they're missing. Our Shante Passmore joins us now with the toy drive that makes all of that possible. Oh, you're staying warm out there. Yeah, look at that fire. We really are. Hey, we are getting to the holiday spirit this morning. What a wonderful way to start my Saturday morning. We're here at the rink at Royal Oak. We're talking about a beautiful cause here this morning. And joining me is Bob from Henry Ford Health. Hello. How are you this morning? I'm doing well. Good morning. You know, tell me what role has have you guys played in, in partnering with the Bottomless Toy Chest here? Uh, Henry Ford uh, Royal uh, Henry Ford Health Royal Oak has been a supporter for the rink at Royal Oak and the bottomless toy chest for three years. Mm -hmm. uh, Henry Ford Health and our team members are always excited to support our local communities and this is one of the examples of a local initiative that gives back to parent, patients, children in need. We are proud to say that we have donated over a thousand dollars in oh, toys wow. uh, Amazing. to be purchased for the bottomless toy chest. Very amazing. And you know, joining me over here to my left here is the Abraham family. You guys are a benefit of the bottomless toy chest. Walk me through a little bit. How did you come across the nonprofit? Uh, we we started getting toys uh, for Martina for um, in the clinic, in the oncologist clinic, and also in Bowman Hospital here in Royal Oak. Mm -hmm. And and they brought her joy and comfort in the most challenging moments. And, and we are so appreciated and so thankful for, for all this um, organization and all the people that are part of it. You know, we were talking about it earlier. As, as parents, it's difficult to see your young one going through something like that. But how was it to know that there were people coming alongside you and wanting to support you and your family? Amazing. It was like a hard, I mean, it blew my mind pretty mm. much. It was, we are really thankful for them. Oh, so sweet. And how are you doing this morning, Martina? How are you? Good. Good. You're so sweet. You're so cute. Okay, you guys. So the toy drive is today and tomorrow here at the rink at Royal Oak. Uh, at least a $10 minimum for new toys. Uh, they're accepting all types of toys, but they especially need toys for those who are, are three years, uh, three years old and younger, and also the teens, of course. And um, 
if you come out here, you can also get free hot cocoa when you drop off your toy. There are going to be performances. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful time out here this weekend, you guys. So I like that you're roasting your marshmallow a bit, Shantae, because one of those babies was just going ham. Look, look, she's still, she's enjoying right. that marshmallow. <laughs> Aw, she, and she's well, sharing, too. They're ready. She's sharing as well. I love that. Thanks, Shantae. <laughs> the best roasting marshmallows yeah it's kind of, but you can't do it too much like it's very quick really you, you just want to get the outer edge right I see feel like I've been out there and just let it burn it. yeah but then how do you eat it it didn't really taste good so I didn't okay well, that's good. Good advice there. Thanks. Yeah. And that was Alice Barr reporting for us in Washington. A Detroit nonprofit set to help dozens of families in time for the holidays. Most in Community Development is hosting its annual Hats, Gloves, and Love event. Yes, it happens today from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at 16520 Wyoming near West McNichols. Now, the free event will provide over $16,000 worth of winter essentials, phones, and holiday gifts for those who qualify. The Bottomless Toy Chest is hosting a toy drive at the rink in Royal Oak this weekend. That's right. We've been seeing this all morning. All of the donations will go to deserving kids who have to spend their holidays in the hospital. Our Shante Passmore is at the rink with how you can make a difference with your donation and today. Shante, people have been watching your segments and coming with donations. It has been so beautiful. I mentioned it earlier during the morning show that we had someone watch one of our live hits and came by with some toys. He was on his way to a big wow. box store. And he also dropped off some sweet treats for the crew. It's just really, really touching and beautiful to see. And really, we hope to see a repeat of that throughout this entire weekend. Today, tomorrow, that is when you can contribute to this toy drive. And joining me again for our final segment here is John. So walk us through how important is it to partner with the Bottomless Toy Chest? I mean, it's been a great a great experience and opportunity to support families with uh, children, teens that are going through some tough health times and, and getting folks out to skate and bring a toy, $10 or, or more, and, and uh, support that cause. It's, it's been wonderful for our third year in a row. We're hoping to get 1,500 toys. Mm. And if you bring a toy today, you get a free hot chocolate. And so much going on. We have Santa here from 12 to 4. We have horse and wagon rides. We have great entertainment throughout the day. The Royal Oak Student Showcase, uh, and they feature the Royal Oak Children's Choir, and they will be singing today at 3 o'clock. Right, I love that. I think 1,500 toys, I think we can do that, John. We can. We were already like more than halfway there. And uh, again, these are incredible students uh, from the city of Royal Oak, and we'll have performances. The Royal Oak Band, uh, Pep Band will be here, mm -hmm. and just more singers, uh, and that's in the afternoon. So, so much going on here at the ring. At Royal Oak, and we're going to let you out of this segment here, but enjoy this rendition of this holiday classic here. Aw, look at that. Hey, guys. Aww. Doing great out there. You know, whenever I was singing that carol, I'd always be like, with glee. Aww. You know, just pop up in the back. It was nice. Aww. Yeah, those kids are doing great. Great job out there, Shantae. And if you'd like to donate, we've got information up on clickondetroit.com. That's right. We are